Greetings, New Hope. It's so good to be with you today. I trust your Tuesday is off to a fantastic start. And I, I wanted to just spend a few minutes with you as we continue this series on the great hymnody of our church and the backstories of these great hymns. One of my favorite hymns is a hymn entitled, Great is Thy Faithfulness by Thomas Chisholm. I wanted to uh, share the backstory with you, uh, but first a few scripture references on which this hymn is based. First out of Lamentation in the Old Testament, chapter three, starting at verse 22. It reads, the Lord's loving kindnesses indeed never cease, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. And out of the New Testament, in the book of James chapter 1, verse 17, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Of the many gospel hymns written in recent times on the theme of God's goodness and faithfulness, this hymn stands out like a beacon light. While many hymns are born out of a particular dramatic experience, this hymn was simply the result of the author's morning by morning realization of God's personal faithfulness. Thomas Obadiah Chisholm was born in a humble log cabin in Franklin, Kentucky on July 29, 1866. Without the benefit of high school or advanced training, he began his career as a school teacher at the age of 16 in the same country schoolhouse where he had received his elementary training. When he was 21, he became the associate editor of his hometown weekly newspaper, The Franklin Favorite. Six years later, he accepted Christ as personal savior during a revival meeting conducted in Franklin by Dr. H. C. Morrison. At Dr. Morrison's invitation, Chisholm moved to Louisville to become office editor and business manager of Morrison's publication, The Pentecostal Herald. Later, Chisholm was ordained to the Methodist ministry, but was forced to resign after a brief pastorate because of poor health. Mr. Chisholm wrote more than 1,200 poems, many of which have appeared frequently in such religious periodicals as the Sunday School Times, Moody Monthly, Alliance Weekly, as well as others. A number of these poems have become prominent hymn texts. In a letter dated 1941, Mr. Chisholm writes, My income has not been large at any time due to impaired health in the earlier years, which has followed me on until now. Although I must not fail to record here the unfailing faithfulness of a covenant-keeping God, and that he has given me many wonderful displays of his providing care, for which I am filled with astonishing gratefulness. In 1923, Mr. Chisholm sent several of his poems to the Reverend W.M. Runyon, a musician associated with the Moody Bible Institute and an editor with the Hope Publishing Company. Mr. Runyon has written as follows, this particular poem held such an appeal that I prayed most earnestly that my tune might carry over its message in a worthy way. And the subsequent history of its use indicates that God answers prayer. It was written in Baldwin, Kansas in 1923 and was first published in my private song pamphlets. This hymn was the favorite of the late Dr. Will Houghton, former beloved president of the Moody Bible Institute. It has since been an all-time favorite with students at the school and as a result of its usefulness has spread to evangelical churches everywhere. Bev Shea states that this hymn was first introduced to audiences in Great Britain in 1954 by the Billy Graham Crusades and has since been a favorite there as well. I trust that this hymn, Great Is Thy Faithfulness, is a blessing to you. Let's sing it together. Shadow of turning with thee. 
faithful God. Great is thy faithfulness. Thank you, Lord.